Fit like I'm the Dan Evan here, and welcome back to another episode of Train Life. We've got one more scenario left to do, so it's Hanover to Munich using the ICE 4. Now, it's quite a long route. Uh, its estimated time is 45 to 55 minutes, so let's let's get going. Uh, start scenario. This is the last one. Uh, we've done the other three. We managed to nail the last one. Uh, Right, hold on. Hanover main. Yes. One, three, two, one, and three. And it wants us to stay on the right. Right, let's go. We'll have a look at the train in a minute. We need to utilize every second we possibly can here. And, ooh, okay. It's sort of throwing me around here. Where am I actually going? There's my platform on the left. Okay, so we're all good there. It looks like it could potentially be foggy. And that's why it's going to take us so long. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, let's jump outside the train. Because uh, I'm going to have to actually check and see when the back of the train is where I need it to be. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be foggy. I think that's potentially why it's going to take so long. Uh, back of the train, back of the train. There's the back of the train. Right. So, we can roll on for a touch, maybe add a touch of brake there, touch of brake there, and we are in, and ready to go. So we can go on and hit the handbrake, we will get the passengers in, opening doors, and where are we actually going? So Hanover Main, oh yes, so it's all the way down right to here, Munich main. Yeah, it is a fair distance. Apparently it can be done in 45 to 55 minutes though, so we'll just see how that goes. Uh, boarding passengers, excellent. And then we'll push V to close the doors. And we are on our merry way. Right, so, handbrake off. Uh, it wants me to change over to the right hand side, that is fine. Uh, let's get right up to 50, straight away, and see if we can, uh, see if we can beat this time as well. 45 minutes, it is a really long distance, it's so far away, uh, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, we're going to go up to 80 in just a second here, so I'm going to let the speed roll up, thank you. Oh, it's good, it's only going up to 60. And then it's going up to 80, okay. We need to beat the fog as much as possible, because it looks foggy. <laughs> it's not the misty moors, it's the misty, misty rail track. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, I'm turning right. Up to 120? Not yet. Up to 100 though. I'll take that. And then we are on our merry way down to Munich. Yeah, we're up to 120, so let's open her up a bit more. Oh yeah, the fog is coming in. Uh, 90 for this section. That seems a bit strange. Hmm, as soon as it pops up telling me that my fog light should be on, I know we're in trouble. <laughs> I would imagine that part of the scenario is that you have to drive through the fog, right? It's not just randomly giving me fog at the start of a scenario and been like, yeah, you're never going to make it there in time because we've spawned fog for no reason. <laughs> If that's the case, they should put that in the title of the scenario so that you know, hey, this might be foggy and it's going to take you a while. Because I would imagine it would have taken us 45 minutes anyway just to get to Munich from Hanover. Right, there we go. That's a decent speed. We're up to speed. Looks like it might just be slight fog. I've not had any indicators to turn on my good old uh, fog lights, so we should be good. 
Uh, next speed limit is still 120, so that is all good. And we'll be able to pop out in just a second and have a look at the train once we're on the street section. There we go. Excellent. So here's our ICE numero 4. That looks really good. Now, the problem with not being in the cab is you do not get alerts out this side. <laughs> so, if we need to switch our fog lights on, we will not know about it. Uh, we're getting a we're getting a decline. You know what? I'm not too bothered about the decline. Uh, I am bothered about the decline, right? Take that off uh, because there's a there's a, a sharp little bend here. Yeah, it was gonna go down to one ten, and then I think it's gonna go down again for this this switch coming up. And uh, get back up to a hundred. That was maybe too much deceleration there. I would imagine if you were a passenger on board the train, that might have sucked just a little. Right, this is going to come down to 110, so. There we go. Oh, it didn't come down to 110. Okay. Right, up to 120 we go then. Excellent. Right, so continuing on. Yeah, it's it's like so hazy. It looks like the fog is threatening to sort of come in, but is it actually going to come in, or is this like the end of the fog? Maybe. Just don't know. Uh, we've made it quite a fair way down. It's it's. This is quite a nice straight route. Until we get to about here, then it all sort of goes to hell. We are not going to have to tell anyone that we are coming through until we get to Nuremberg, Maine. Is there a faster route? If this came across here, this would be a faster route, but it doesn't. Maybe going down this way might have been a faster route. But this is the route that the GPS has taken us, so... We'll be all good. This should be 120 for quite some time, so we should be, we should be fine. Uh, six minutes in, six and a half minutes in. Go sound the old horn. Uh, tunnel zone, free track. Blah 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 blah. We're doing 131 kilometers per hour. That's maybe a bit too fast. Next speed limit is still 120. And then it drops down to 110 at some point. Mm, that's okay. Right, passing the Frankfurt Forest there. Lower your speed, or you may get fined. Oh, we're down to 110 there, and I never noticed. We'll stay 10 kilometers per hour above the speed limit. There we go, there's the 120. And there we go. It's, I'm finding it difficult to sort of hold this speed. 60% uh, makes the train slow down and 70% makes it speed up. There's no happy medium sort of in between where it just holds speed. So what I'm gonna let it do is get up to 130. Oh no, yeah, I get it up to 130. And then I'm gonna let it drop down to 120 and then I'll let it get up to 130 again. And that'll be fine, it seems to be holding now. The game's been called out and it's realized it, so now <laughs> Now it's leaving me at a set speed. Very nice. This is nice. There's nothing much happening. Because this, as I said, is a nice... sort of smooth bit of track. 
Oh wait, there's something coming up now though. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to slow down here. Uh, see? Now it is, there's, it's saying that the speed limit ahead is 120. For this corner? Really? I am gonna slow down. 100. Oh, thanks game. Or is it 100 for this junction split up ahead? Uh, I think we should be good. There we go, some nice scenery there. It looks like they, I think they've maybe added a bit more scenery. Looks like those fields and things are a bit more fleshed out. Uh, yeah, we're heading off to the right. Is it going to go down to 100? It is. Lower speed or you will get fined, okay? This corner looks a bit dodgy. Oh yeah, we're in this winding Frankfurt section, okay. That's fine. I'm happy to keep the speed down through this section. Right, we've got 35 minutes to get to Munich. And we're sort of in the confines of Frankfurt at the moment. And I have literally forgotten what station it is I'm supposed to buzz as I go through. Hmm. Well done. How could you forget? Uh, we'll figure it out as we get to there. Leipzig? Leipzig main? Right, that's up to 110. I'm already doing 110. Okay. Right, so this is the section where we sort of head away from Munich. And then it's going to turn and then we're going to be back on course. For a sort of Munich direction. Off to the east. Well, off to the southeast. You are speeding, I sure am. No fines, so we're all good. Right, where am I? I think I'm still around the Frankfurt area. I've not passed Frankfurt Main, so... I think we do have a little bit to go. A few more twists and turns here and there. Right, trying to hold the speed again. Try and utilize as much speed as possible so we can get in on time. Alright, I think we're going to be passing through Frankfurt here yeah, and it's going to go down to 80. Right, I don't actually have to tell Frankfurt Main switch fog lights on or you might get fined. What? That's a bit late. The fog is gone. Uh, is this scenario bugged as well? <laughs> I hope not. Not like the ICE 3 one where we arrived on the actual platform we were supposed to be on and the game was like, nah, go away. <laughs> 50? Wait a second. 50 for what? Why am I coming down to 50 kilometers per hour the next section? No, no, I'm not. We are not doing that. Okay. <laughs> We're all good. It's pretty impossible to get lost. The game won't let you. There's barriers. 
for switches that you can't go down. Obviously you can use these crossing switches because you're still going on the right direction but it won't let you head say off track to a like a sawmill or an iron smeltery or an oil refinery it always keeps you on the correct track. See these yellow barriers there? They stop you from going down the the wrong way. Right, I want to pick up speed here because we're obviously clearly going uphill. We don't want to be slowing down going uh, up here. There's the incline and then we've got a decline. Okay, remove the speed. I remove the power. I'm gonna keep it at 90 kilometers per hour. Because why the hell not? <laughs> we'll try to get there on time. Throwing a little caution and the wind will be fine. Next speed limit is still 80, so we've still got a while to go before we exit Frankfurt here. And then what? Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing. Until we get to Nuremberg, Maine. Okay, right, continue on. And it looks really sort of twisty and turny. There's a lot of twists and turns up ahead as well. Watch out, animal on the track. He's come for a day out in Frankfurt. Hazar Bambi. He's gonna have to move though, or he will be face planted into the front of this very nice looking train. I don't see Bambi. He's there. Beat it. Beat it, Bombers. Right, we're good to go. Dodged Bambi. Speed limit has come up. It's a beautiful day. Can I take my fog lights off? Yeah, it was, it was rather strange that it asked me to stick my fog lights on back there. Yeah, we'll go 101 kilometers per hour, that'll be fine. Next speed limit is still 100, so that's fine. Off we go to the left. I'm interested to see as well, they've got like the the German catenary poles in certain places. I'm interested to see if those types of catenary change as you go through different uh, different countries. Right, we're speeding slightly. Uh, Nuremberg, yeah. Remember when you get to Nuremberg that you've got things to do, okay? Duly noted. Next speed limit is 120. Is it here? It is here. Right, let's go. There we go. It's, it's holding steady there at 120, so that's fine. No, it's not. It just dropped. We cannot have that drop. Sticking to the right, that's all good. How's everything looking in here? Fine. Yeah, we're good. There we go, there's our beautiful train. It's heading over the bridge there. You can't change track that is occupied by a train. Oops, I didn't mean to push Q there. I meant to push W. It looks good though. It just doesn't look like it's going that fast though. The trees in the background should be going past at like a, a hazy blur of speed. Uh, <laughs> we're just not doing that though. Right, 90. Next speed limit is 90. Okay. And you're doing 130, so you should probably pull that back a touch. At least get it back to 120. 
I think I can bleed off 30 kilometers per hour of speed quite quickly. Now there's an incline, you see? I need to keep my speed up. I need to keep the power up for the incline. Come on. And then it's going to come down to 90 as we come around here. Because this, this bend looks pretty hellish. Entering the bend now. Watch out, animal near track, okay? Right, so it looks like we're sort of turning back up the way. We're heading back north. And then we'll be turning right, and then Nuremberg, Maine, should sort of be in that area. In fact, what is that? Oh, Nuremberg's like right in front of us. Okay. Speeding there for a brief second, but the speed limit was coming up to 120, so I'm just letting it roll. Uh, where's Bambers? Bambers is right there. He's fine. We don't have to scare him off. Uh, can I tell? No, I think that I think that's actually Frankfurt was that city that we saw in the background because we're basically heading back towards it. Now we're coming round. Yeah, we're heading east again. Good, good. What time is it? Twenty minutes in. Am I even more than halfway there? Would you say that is half? That's definitely the quick section. Definitely. No, I would say, yeah, I would say we're maybe about halfway there. Keep the speed up, utilize that time. And then keep an eye out for Nuremberg. No, it's still Frankfurt, Maine. Okay. Speed limit comes down to 110 at the next signal. Okay. Duly noted. Nothing on the old radar. No oncoming trains or anything in these scenarios. Which you would think with traveling such a great distance that you are, you're bound to run into something. Uh, keep it 125. I see a water tower. Right, there's that 110 speed limit. Is it going to come down again? Yeah, it's going to come down to E. Right at this bend round here. There's the E. Slow down, faster. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, round here and then we are back up to speed again. All's well, right, we've passed that hellish section of track right up to 100% there and then slowly back down to 80% yeah by the time you get this train up to 100% or getting it up to 100% without wheel slip you're basically at the speed you need to be at right this is a 110 section why just for this little yeah for this area this little bend right here And then it opens up to 120 again. Okay, that was weird. Oh well. Am I near Nuremberg? Nuremberg power plant, that's a good sign. We're getting closer. And uh, next speed limit is 100. Ah. Oh. 
No, keep the 120 speed on that up. Uh, so we're almost 25 minutes in. We have not passed Nuremberg main yet, but we are getting there. Nuremberg power plant is the only, and the iron ore, or Frankfurt iron ore mine. Hmm. That's the wrong direction. Right, where am I? I don't see Nuremberg. I'd like to get to Nuremberg. I was going to say I'd like to get to Nuremberg by 25 minutes, but that is only another minute away. Oh, and we're going to have to slow down for this bend. Now ah, we're good. <laughs> 114 kilometers is fine. 100 kilometers per hour, the game's just playing it safe. <laughs> We're going Black Ops style. In order to get the train there on time. It's weird because it does tell you to speed up. Uh, pretty much while the back of the train is still going through the bend. Watch out, Animal Near Track. I'm on it, game. No Bambies will be slain on my watch. It is round the corner though, so I'm not going to see it until I'm basically, basically there. And then we're coming down to like 70 kilometers per hour, Jesus. That slowed down very quickly. <laughs> and then we're back up to 120. Or will it be shortly once we get around this corner? It's up to 90 though. Where's Nuremberg Main? Ah. Still no sign of it. Okay. 120. I didn't even see the deer. Did anybody see the deer? I never saw it. I was too busy going, uh oh, 120 down to 70. That's bad. Oh, this is a downhill section, so the train is going to increase speed. Rapido. That was quite an interesting section. I quite enjoyed going through there. Keeps your wits about you. It's nice. Don't want it to be too easy. You don't want to be going 120 kilometers all the time. You need these little slowing down for corners and stuff to make it interesting. And there's plenty of that, so it's good. Right, 26 minutes in, I've not passed Nuremberg, Maine. A sinking feeling that I am not gonna make it in time is slowly approaching. There we go, 120. Let's go, get that up to 120 immediately. Right, there's a downhill section here, so the train is going to speed up on its own. Next speed limit is 120. Nuremberg power plant still the only thing on the radio. Right, keep the speed up. I want to get to Nuremberg, Maine by within half an hour. That is the plan here, game. Can that be accomplished? Probably not, because Nuremberg, Maine is still not on the not on the cards yet. Oh man, it's all the way down here. Yeah, wow, fifteen minutes to get from here to there. Maybe. Possibly. If I keep the train at speed, we should be good. One twenty again. I'd love to just gun it, you know. 
<laughs> let the train open up the taps and let the train do whatever it wants to do. Yeah, there's another incline coming up. Keep the speed up, please. Then we've got a decline. Okay. Remove the power. There we go. It's holding it one, two, three. Probably at that point where half the train is going downhill and the other half is still coming to the top of that last incline. Nuremberg Power, ooh, Nuremberg Warehouse, we're getting closer. Alright, come on, 120, yep, stay at 120. Uh, 29 minutes, Jesus. And I've been speeding a lot in this scenario. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, obviously, once we enter the city confines of Nuremberg, we're going to be down to 80 kilometers per hour. And as we bypass the station as well, uh, down to 90. Right, round this bend we go. Yeah, it's still super far in Nuremberg, Maine. Because I, I know this part from when we just looked at the map there. Yeah, 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 we're speeding, I know. I want to get there on time game. <laughs> oh man, and then the speed limit comes down to 70. It's a real drag for this bend coming up here, this left-hander. It looks like a real doozy. There we go, there's the 70. Okay, let's drop the speed. And then it's gonna go up to 120, but then we're gonna be in Nuremberg. Yeah, less than 15 minutes to get there. We still, we can still, uh, we'll still be able to get there within fifty-five minutes, absolutely. Uh, but getting there before forty-five was a pipe dream <laughs> that was never going to come to fruition. Right, let's go up to one twenty, get the speed back up for the short little distance, and then we'll be turning left, and we'll be slowing down. No, 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 no. No, no. Stay at 120. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, good, good, good. Next speed limit is down to 100. Farm, Nuremberg, Maine. Do I want to contact them and tell them that I'm coming in now? We're still a ways away. I'll leave the menu open so that I remember to do so. I'm going to wait till we get closer. Yeah, once we get around this bend. I will contact them. Right, speed limit is 100. It's all good. Alright, 70 and then 80. Okay, so we're passing the warehouse, so it's a, it's a pretty safe area where we can sort of let them know that we're coming in. So, we'll see one, three, and two. That's all, we just need station access, we're not actually stopping here. Uh, give me a bit more speed, please. 32 minutes, and we're only just in Nuremberg. Okay. I think there should be special speed limits in place if you're running the ICE3, just so you can get uh, get a bit faster 
get a bit more speed out of it. Use it as it was intended to be used. Now we're getting a bit of frame droppage here. We shouldn't be because we're still in Germany and Germany is probably the <laughs> the best optimized area of the map. Uh, what's this? 80. That's fine. It wants me to stay on the right hand side. And that's also fine. Right, so we're getting through Nuremberg and then that's it. Next stop, Munich. Munich, Maine. Alright, I can still stay on the right hand side here. Apparently it's all good. Yep, and then head round here. 80 kilometers per hour. And the time on the left hand top of the screen is dwindling away. <laughs> Soon we're only going to have 10 minutes to get to Munich. Now I say 10 minutes to get to Munich, I'm obviously meaning by the lower to get in in under 45 minutes. I, d I definitely think we'll, we'll still have 20 minutes. So I think we'll be good. With no more cities or anything to pass through and no slowing down, we should be totally fine. Why is this 50? Why is there not a bypass track? Oh, there is a bypass track, I just picked the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> I should be on that track way past on the left hand side I think alright go at 62 is there no way for me to bypass this train station oh no it looks like the route was actually taking me right through so there's no bypass for Nuremberg Maine that's interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, game, I am gonna take this up to, up to 60 kilometers per hour. There maybe was, I think I was on the wrong track there. I think it's maybe all the way over the left-hand side. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> oh yeah, moving on to this track, I was, yep. <laughs> Should have just stayed on that left-hand side track. Understandably, if there was a train already in that platform, it would have made sense, but not right now, it doesn't. Right, I am going to let it speed. Because we're going to get 80. Like, the exact second we leave Nuremberg, Maine. Which is at these dwarf signals right here. Right here, right here, right here, there's... Where are we going? Sweet. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, God, God, God. Right, uh, handbrake, reverse. Go. <laughs> So for some reason, the depot is not blocked off. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was getting ready with my 80 speed limit and then it just went, nah. <laughs> so that is still a functioning junction. Okay. Uh, so that wasted a bit of time. Right. And I reverse her off and let's go. And I want to stick to the left. It does actually say there on the bottom left hand side, switch over to the left. I thought it was for a junction later. I thought this area would have just have been blocked off. It was only when I noticed that there were no yellow barriers there. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> this is going to be bad. It looks like they've completely taken damage off though because I just face planted the depot at like... <laughs> I don't know, uh, 80 kilometers per hour and it did nothing. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so you wasted about a minute and a half, two minutes there, well done. So if I don't make this by a minute and a half and two minutes, I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs>
Yeah, should have been paying attention. I honestly thought that the when it was telling me that it was red because I was heading right, that it was maybe for something later on. I did not expect it to go <laughs> veering off down towards the the depot there. <laughs> uh, oh well, live and learn. It's because I've become complacent because the scenario is basically. You can't get lost or go down the wrong way because the game won't let you, so I just assumed everything was going to be fine. Right, stay on the right hand side, follow the directions, and we're heading south. We're finally heading south again. Uh, 38, oh, 39 minutes, or 6 minutes. Where's my 120 km per hour speed limit? I should maybe just gun this since I screwed it up try and gain some time back because I can stay at about 95 uh, before the game will punish me <laughs> so we'll stay at 95 try and get some gain some time back right 100 ah oh, no it's not 100 yet It's coming though, because we're, we're leaving Nuremberg, we're leaving the city confines, watch out, animal near the track. It's always near the track though, it's never on the track. Right, when I get this 100 speed limit, I'm going to go 115, and when I get the 120 kilometers per hour speed limit, so that speed limit, I'm going to go 135. <laughs> We'll have to apologise to the passengers for that delay. <laughs> we can blame it on the the, sw the switch changer, the switching man. Right, so that's a hundred. Let's take it up to one hundred and fifteen, because that's the max we can go before we start to get fined. <laughs> Animal near track. Okay, we've passed that. Come on, get up, get up to one fifteen. <laughs> There we go, 115. Right, stay at 115, please. <laughs> right, speed limit is going to come down to 100. Uh, I'm at 100. Well, I'm at 115. Maybe take it down to 110, because this corner looks interesting. Uh, next speed limit is 120. Okay. Gonna start creeping the speed back up. One fifteen. Where's my one twenty? Give me give me my one twenty. You are speeding. Yeah, but I think the one twenty's coming up, right? Come on, one twenty. One twenty. No? There we go, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to push this up to 135. Because that is our, our, obvious, our limit before we go into speeding zone. Right, 42 minutes, 3 minutes to get there, okay, speed limit is 120, where am I at on the map, well we're at Munich Smeltery, we're not that far away, but even with my little screw up I don't think we would have, I don't think we would have actually have made it, I mean if there's a really straight bit of track, I'll absolutely gun it. Oh well. <laughs> to see how fast the train can get up to. I think that time is potentially been and gone though. Right, where's this going to come down to 100? Yeah, we're still good. Lower your speed. We're going to get a fine, but it's going to be okay. 
brakes. I want to see how fast the train goes, right? Uh, slow down. Whoa, what was some rapid, rapid deceleration there. <laughs> I want to see how fast the train went. I don't want to rip it off the tracks. Uh, back up to 120, that makes me happy. Come on, buddy. And then down to 110. That's fine, keep going. We are not speeding, and I take resentment to that accusation. Okay, now we're speeding. <laughs> down to 100, really? Ugh. Stay at 110. There you go. Then what's this? Down to 90. Oh my god. I was down to 80. Oh. Okay. <laughs> then we're back up to 120. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right, 44 minutes. We've got a minute to get to Munich. And it's not even on the radio yet. Okay, so... We're never going to make that. I wonder if I made up my time from my little, my little detour. I mean, we have been throwing caution to the wind and staying over the speed limit. Right, new mission to get there within 50 minutes. Right, 50 minutes is a decent time, I would imagine. But if I've been doing this, this constantly staying way above the speed limit, but not as much so that we get fine, we probably would have been totally fine. Yeah, yeah, stay. Is that coming down to 80 now? It is. Ah, it's because we're coming into Munich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there's the 45 minutes. Keep it at like 94, 95. And in Munich we go, Let's jump outside the train, have a look, see? It's night time now. So was that a, you leave in the morning, you arrive at night scenario supposed to be? Maybe. No, Munich Main is still not on the cards. It's just straight in front of us down here. We're going to be at 95 for quite some time though. Really we should be at 80 but too. Hey it's all good. We'll be fine. You just have to remember and slow down before you get to the station. Because I keep missing. What I don't notice is that as I'm coming up to the station, I'm a bit too relaxed, and I don't actually realise that some of the the switches or junctions for me to change onto the track I need to be on are way before you even get into the station. And I sort of get into the station, it's like, hey, I can't access any of the tracks on the left-hand side. And the game's like, yeah, but you were supposed to switch onto the left-hand side about 40 miles ago, and you just ignored me. <laughs> but here, it doesn't matter, because it's literally switching. There we go, Munich main. Uh, three, two, one, and three. Thank you. I needeth station access, and I needeth to unload my passengers, please. Right, why am I only doing 83 kilometers per hour? Why am I only speeding by 3 kilometers per hour? I should be speeding by a hell of a lot more. Because I'm going to get there within 50 minutes. We're passing the warehouse. Nice. There are still actually one or two passenger stations I've not yet, not yet actually been to in Germany and I need to unlock them because it is going to annoy me greatly 
if I don't. This is nice. Look, see the train going past the warehouse. Now, if you could hide the UI, in fact, go to options, graphic controls, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're only playing at 2K because sounds, language, gameplay, language. Where's my hide UI button? Why is there no controls or keybind reconfiguration in the all right controls are there it's in its own little thing uh, let's see if there's a Heidi UI show options honk toggle headlights toggle doors wipers what's the wipers again B but it doesn't look like there's rain implemented yet Okay, so toggle incline warning has got its own button. That's good. Dead man button is K. It's also good. Look right mouse button. And look left. Left mouse button. Yeah, I kind of wanted a, a hide the UI. Oh, right back to game. Right, so if I click, no, hold on, go to here. Right mouse button, left mouse button, <laughs> no, what? It doesn't do anything. Look left, look right. No, it doesn't, I don't understand what that is. Right, we are speeding slightly, but we're almost at Munich Main. In fact, I believe this is it on the horizon. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna lower speed. Because I think very shortly it's gonna bump me down to 50 for going through here. Ah, we've only got one minute to get in before 50. I don't think we're gonna make that. Alright, the dwarf signals are all good, so I have a station access. Now I want to go over to the left hand side. Whoa, this looks cool. This looks really cool. I've been to Munich before though, have I? Yeah, I have. Alright, see my platform? Uh, you're going really slow and you don't have to go that slow because you know where you're going now. We're heading off to the right here. And we are in uh, the station. Right, so the edge of the back of the train has to get in. Can't see the back of the train. Uh, this station may not be as long as some of the other stations we've been to. Right, one, two, uh, 20 kilometers per hour. Is the train in? I'm assuming it's in. Right, that will do nicely. Uh, v. There we go, opening door so we could actually finish this scenario, which is nice. Departing passengers, 50 minutes. It's not too bad. Oh, V. Close the doors. Was the actual train on the platform? Yeah, it's good. Oh, what is it? Nice. Drive one of the oldest intercity express routes in Germany from Hanover, the capital of Lower Saxony, to Munich, the capital of Bavaria. And we did it in 50 minutes and 34, as estimated. That's, re that's good. I, I quite enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but that is it for these scenarios. There are only four implemented at the moment. I'm assuming they're going to be adding more over time. But they're really fun. Uh, I kind of do want the ICE 3 and 4 to be available to purchase as trains for my company. Because I think that would be really cool. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe trains like this will only be for scenarios. Which would be a shame. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, 
and then hit that subscribe button. Now I've been Danny Min, this has been Train Life, and I will catch us later.